Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I would like to take a moment to thank all of you that have subscribed. It really means a lot to me, so thank you. Now this is my 46 year old soldering iron that dates from 78. It is as crusty as it gets, as you can see. Um, I do use it almost daily and it came to my mind I've never took it apart so this is a good chance to take it apart see what's inside it should be just a transformer take apart the original handpiece and clean everything so here we are this soldering iron is as simple as it gets switch, fuse and the handpiece connection that also has um, I think it's that 4mm uh, banana socket This is the hand piece. We should be able to clean that up. And I have this soldering iron since the 90s, I think, that uh, my cousin gave it to me used, of course. It is very interesting to see, for me, this is the best soldering iron I have and it's ju it just doesn't compare to the knockoff Hako although to be honest I haven't tried the original Hako tips to be fair uh, This often offers a wide variety of soldering tips we will see that and uh, this is a temperature regulated soldering iron um, but you change the temperature um, using different uh, tips we will check that out it's a magnetic uh, switched uh, temperature control And uh, let's start to take it apart. Now, as you can see, the handpiece cable, it's still very soft. And it has seen definitely better days. But let's remove that. These are just screw terminals, but you cannot remove the red piece all the way. I have retained these cables and they were tinted from the factory. Remove the hand piece. Put the screws in the box. Now this definitely needs cleaning. <laughs> it's been some time. Let's get rid of this and I will continue. Now that is a bit better. Emptied all the old solder from the uh, sponge 
uh, place. As you can see, this has just a simple two pole um, plug, no earth connection rubbish. After all, it's all plastic. Now, oops. now this is our sticker. Veller, the tap is twenty zero twenty one ninety nine or tab 40E dash E actually uh, and if you can see that it's 1278 I'm pretty sure that's a month so December of 78 Now on the bottom it only has some Phillips screws. Oops, one is missing. Now let's take apart the bottom. Where this fit? So this is the first look I, I take for many many years now. Ooh. So here is our transformer. Lighted switch. and the power line that comes in that's pretty much it output straight to the terminals Up here, as you can see, has this uh, uh, protector. Mm, it's pretty. Maybe I'll try to remove that later. It's pretty stuck in there. So you don't melt the case uh, when using the sponge. Now, I may try to totally remove the front to give it a good wash. Now, I've removed the terminal from the switch. Let's remove the Input cables. As you can see, these are also tinted from the factory.
Now let's take a look at the sweets. Wow, that's one heavy transformer and you can very clearly see the primary and then secondary side. Here it is, everything laid out from the base station, um, ready to be cleaned. I really like they have all the same head Phillips screws, so you just need one screwdriver. Uh, I will give it a wash with some uh, this uh, washer soap and uh, I may put the terminals in the ultrasonic cleaning machine let's see how it turns out Here is everything cleaned up. Just the scrub with a brush and with some wire uh, sponge. This is what's left of the protective uh, aluminum piece from there. and I used baby wipes and some de detergent to clean out the power cord now let's put it back together and uh, take a look uh, at the handpiece I back up the screwdriver a bit so I can get the same thread
and that is the base station cleaned uh, we have to end here this video I wish you all a happy new year and happy holidays and see you on part 2 thank you for watching